Hey, welcome back once again it's pure graphics in today's video i want to show you guys how to use the warp tool in affinity designer the tool is very important you can use it to make your designs more beautiful attractive and interesting when you want to use the tool in affinity designer there are two places you can find it it's either you head over to layers here and you can find it right here or you go to your layers panel and look at it down here and when you click on it you can see a list of presets you can use any of them to play with the news and see what you can get out of it let's use the first one on the list here which is the mesh we can see that it has automatically added a mesh on our vector and now we can play with the nose here and see what we can get you can click on empty spaces and add nose Or you can click on the lines to twist them and see how, what you can get. Okay, now let's head over to the other presets. Let's check out our other preset too. Let's check out this chord here, which is the second on the list. This one too is cool. Let's check out the other ones too. Let's check out a fish eye too. We can see that this one too is very cool. Okay, let's check out the next one. Let's check out uh, the twist, which is the last on the list. This one too is beautiful, as you can see. This one is twisting our text here and making it look more amazing. Let's check other ones too out. Now let's use the perspective. I believe this one will be very useful for mockups. I hope by now you have an idea on how to use the web tool in Affinity Designer. Thanks for much for watching. If you do find this video useful, subscribe to my channel and like this video. Bye for now.